Canada with Jen Dalen on 93.1 The One. Joining us today, Meredith Shaw, coming all the way from Toronto. I know. Almost like halfway across the country. <laughs> Don't hate us because we're from Toronto. Uh, so yeah, my mom okay. is from Niagara Falls. I'm not allowed oh, okay. to hate anybody there from out east. My favorite team is the Maple Leafs. Oh. I know. Wow. I don't know what's wrong with me, (laughs) but uh, I do cheer for the Leafs. Amazing. Well, I'm (laughs) sorry to hear that for you. (laughs) I know. Now, Meredith, you're you're an upcoming Canadian talent. Yeah. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, absolutely. Well, yeah, from Toronto, uh, born and raised, and I've been uh, singing and writing songs for, it seems like a long time now. I started, first time was in a studio, was in Nashville, and uh, then since then have uh, hooked up with... Gordy Johnson from Big Sugar, and he's been very kind to me, mentoring me along the way. I wrote some songs for Big Sugar. He took me on the road with them. He did my first record, and then uh, got to work with Joel Plaskett and John Angus McDonald from The Trues. So I've been hanging out with a lot of rock boys, and now I'm moving yeah, over into why, country. Why country then? <laughs> well, like I said, so I started off in Nashville, you know, and I, and I feel like I've always been been writing country songs. It just they've been produced a little bit differently, maybe, and. Now I've, uh, I've hooked up with Jeff Johnson out of Vancouver, who's worked with Wes Mack and Dal Smith and Small Town Pistols, and uh, we're making the, the country songs that I wrote into actual country songs. Well, <laughs> I mean, the there's definitely some similarities, though, right, between rock and country? We, we yeah. can see those in the in the stories. Certainly. Yeah. There are stories to that song. It's not like the pop genre where you get the nice, catchy sing-alongs. <laughs> We've true. got actual, real-life stories. Yeah, and I've always been really, really into into the stories behind the songs. Um, and yeah, I've been working with the Rock Boys, mainly writing folk, folk <laughs> kind of music. So I, uh, they've they've certainly you know helped me earn my chops on stage. There's nothing like like as a girl performing in front of a big rock crowd. But uh, yeah, I, I love I love being a part of, of country music and writing songs like you say, just that are about real things and real people. Who are some of your big inspirations then? Well, I gotta say, one of my biggest was hosting the CCMAs. Uh, Jan Arden is someone that I've looked up to forever, and uh, both as a as a as a songwriter and a singer, but also just as a personality and a force. She's to be funny. With. She's so funny, and uh, and has always been comfortable in her skin. And I, as someone you know who's been looking up to her for a long time, that that's something that has really spoken to me. And you know, in my little ways that I can do it now with some younger girls coming up, I'm, I'm always looking to do that because she was very kind to me uh, early on kind of in my career and it meant a lot. So uh, she's a huge influence and it was so cool to see her. I, I, I remember I tweeted, I was like, Jan Arden and country music in one room, my head might explode. Like, I was so excited right now. Uh, and uh, I'm looking at a poster in your studio right now, Reeve McIntyre, Trisha Yearwood, Martina McBride, just amazing female the big voices powerhouses. i love that yeah i mean the song's all about a story but all about that voice that just kind of cuts you you know and and then certainly a lot of other you know there are some men that i like too oh really? <laughs> yes know? yes there are, there are some male influences but really i think growing up i, I really like listening to the girls just because i wanted to see if i could do it you know mm-hmm. like i listened to them and then oh okay i could oh, i can't hit that note yet oh i can do this i well, tried I the same singer, thing you know and then I was told I should let the, <laughs> the music take care of the singing. Right. And, uh, yeah, my dreams were crushed. Right. But that, that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's okay. okay. I'm, I'm, I got a little close to the music, oh, yeah. at least talking around it. Well, we can't do what we do without you, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there we go. Now, you've got a, a brand new single, The Radio, Better Than This. Can you tell mm. us about the track? Absolutely. Uh, we did that, recorded it in Vancouver. And, uh, again, with Jeff Johnson and, and uh, Scotty Chops, who plays bass with Dal Smith, mixed it and... Uh, just a great crew of people on it. We had Shania Twain's fiddle player. And so, you know, I'll just pick up all those things. Yeah, off the floor yeah, I, I like it. You know, some really, really good country people are are, uh, are enjoying the song. So that makes me happy. And uh, the song is, is about something I think we've all been in. Just relationships where you're like, how did we get here? We are better than this. Like, what is happening right now? <laughs> you know, we were so in love. And then time passes and life happens. And you kind of get stuck so. and now you're leaving the toilet paper roll on the, well, yeah, the thing like, and come on man i can give oh, you another shot doors open? Yeah. just one more shot and if you don't then get out huh. <laughs> <laughs> just like it says in that song about five million times huh. uh, but yeah no i wanted to write a song that, that was that was tough that girls could grab their hairbrush and sing in the mirror on saturday night before they went out you know something really stompy um but also just something that, that still has some hope for the relationship you know it's not a total uh, before he cheats kind of, you know, song. Yeah, it yeah. Is, it, there's still some hope for that guy. <laughs> we still like him. We just want him to be better. Just, a, just a little bit. Like, go from better. a 7 out of 10 exactly. to a 7 and a half. We don't need perfect. We there just you need go. better. <laughs>
super cool. Now, if people want to go in, check your music out more, learn more about you, where where can they go? Absolutely. MeredithShaw.com is definitely the hub. Uh, all the uh, aforementioned, aforementioned tunes we were talking about before with Gordy Johnson and Joel and everything, they're up all on iTunes. Um, and then this one will be there, too, better than this on, on iTunes as well. Fantastic. Well, thanks for taking the time. Thank you so much for having us. Appreciate it. Your new Canadian player this weekend on the Great Canadian Dollar Stores Made in Canada. It's Meredith Shaw and better than this.